Hello, today my topic is to discuss and demonstrate about, about the continuous and indeterminate beams apparatus STR-13 manufactured by Tech Equipment Limited UK and installed by Modlab Technology Systems in National University of Technology and New Tech Islamabad. So let's get started. This is the picture of the apparatus uh, STR-13. You can see the base frame STR-1 uh, and uh, the module STR-13 placed on the base frame. You can see that there is a force, digital force indicator. There, there, there is a load cell, digital load cell. You can see weight hangers, weights, deflection indicator, and there is a beam and scale on the STR-13 module. So, what this operator does is the statically indeterminate and continuous beam operators is a versatile piece of equipment that allows students to explore many textbook beam problems students can use this equipment to find out the following things static equilibrium static equilibrium of beams different type of beams are have been given uh, with this apparatus uh, beam properties like length area and um, the relationship between beam properties like uh, what does the area uh, affect on the deflection of the beam what does length affect on the deflection of beam the relationship between beam properties length and deflection what is the relationship between length and deflection so we will discuss these parts briefly in upcoming slides so these are the learning outcomes what students can learn by the end of this lecture so first point is point is reactions of simply supported beam we can we know that simply supported beam is a beam which has both ends free and no fixed end so this is a this is a simply supported beam reaction of a two span continuous beam reaction and fixing moments of a fixed beam and a prop cantilever now the prop cantilever has one end free and one end is rotating rotating end and other end is a free end reaction and fixing moment of prop cantilever with sinking spot relationship between load and deflection for beams and cantilevers so these are our learning out outcomes so what is the working of str13 basically following steps elaborate the working of str13 apparatus first of all the apparatus fits onto the structure test frame str1 as uh, i mentioned uh, in the previous slide the str1 is a base frame and str13 is the module which is placed on the base frame secondly students apply loads to experiment using small masses small different sort of small masses have been provided with, with this equipment students apply load on the beams different types of beams are also provided uh, with different uh, sort of lengths like aluminium brass and stainless steel beams have been provided students can apply the mass and see the behavior of the beams uh, like deflection or uh, effect of uh, reactions on the on either side of the beam digital force display str1 is electronically measures it actually measures the reactions acting on the beams the forces acting on, on the beams and it shows digital values on the screen it can be shown on the screens of the um, force display str one a it can also be seen from the uh, equipment structure software str 2000 now we will move towards our parts and control section here you can see a complete str 13 module without without the base frame str1 so we will discuss its parts one by one first of the first is test beam here you can see a test beam is placed on this module str13 uh, we, we have provided different types of beams like aluminium brass and stainless steel of different lengths so you can test uh, on one by one on either of the beams second load cell you can see there are two load cells one this is a, one this is a load cell and this is a, an, an, another load cell so these load cells measure the force acting on either side of the beam you can place them anywhere and measure the amount of load amount of reaction forces acting on that point of the beam this is a third point is digital indicator this, this dig, digital indicator measures the deflection produced in the beam due to the reaction forces and weights acting on that beam 
different beams act differently and the deflection depend upon their um, properties so second uh, fourth point is moment check here is a moment check moment check measures the amount of moment produced on this side of beam due to the weights applied on this beam so it will depend on the amount of weights applied on the beam and the distance uh, from the center or from the weight so it will vary according to the amount of weights applied another thing is set zero control the set zero control resets the amount of value whatever the value is showing on the uh, force meter if you press set zero on either of the load cells it will turn it to the zero and it will then uh, measures the value from the starts previous value will be discarded but so if you want to take readings uh, from, uh, from the star from any point of the experiment you can press these set zeros uh, and you can get the values from the zero and next is the clamping plates the clamping plates here you can see clamping plate clamping plates make these ports rigid if you are not using this clamping plate then these ports will be knife edge ports or free ports if you are placing your beam between these clamping plates so it will become a rigid sport so we will use them in a rigid sport sport beam experiments and now here are some other parts and controls structure frame str1 here is your structure frame str1 which is essential for every structure products provided within this module weight hanger this is a weight hanger weight hanger is used to apply weights on various sides and various lengths of the beams and different number of test masses have been provided for the various experiments and you can use according to uh, the demand or according to your needs next is digital four display and this is a digital four display what this does is it takes the output readings from these load cells the force readings of these load cells and displays on its display as well as it can also display the readings on the str2000 structure software so you can see uh, readings both on this force display as well as on the structure software as well and now we'll move up to the next point important theory points used in this experiment in experiment so these are few definitions which needed to be discussed which will which are frequently using in these uh, apparatus first is beam continuous beam a beam which has two or more than two point of supports along it, its length and provides resistance to bending when a load or force is applied so you all know what continuous beam is a simply supported beam is a type of beam that has spin support at one end and roller support at another end or both hands are free also or supported freely or simply supported beam prop cantilever beam a prop cantilever beam is a one and fixed its one end is fixed and other end is a roller supported so we use basically roller support for to measure the amount of movement produced on that side of the beam that's why we use roller sports often we'll move on next. now the experiment section has started so we will discuss uh, every experiment one by one first of all steps to be taken before setting up the equipment now this is uh, this is this has to be practiced before every experiment that these steps should follow to make your experiment perfect and uh, less errorful uh, now first point is visually inspect all parts including electrical leads for damage or wear replace as necessary so for better experiments and good results the every part has to be has to be working uh, properly so you need to check every part one by one uh, so that uh, there is no uh, damage or corrosion uh, there on the any of the modules electrical maintenance must be carried out by a competent person check electrical connections are correct and secure so uh, electrical uh, personnel should check the electrical maintenance electrical connection as well so that there may be may not be a connectivity issue or anything else regarding to electrical parts and during the experiments check all components secure are secured correctly and fastenings are sufficiently tight so this is also very necessary 
position the test frame safely make sure it is on a solid level surface is steady and easily accessible now you all know that a surface has to be equal balance and balance to make the experiments perfect and less error errorful so, so never apply excessive load to any part of the equipment so you, you all know that uh, every beam has a limit of load uh, bearing load so you don't have to apply excessive load on the equipment or any part of the equipment so that a beam uh, uh, does not uh, damage damages and it will remain uh, uh, there for uh, further experiments in the near future whenever moment arm is used in the equipment undo the moment arm clamp screw on the backboard and uh, unit so the moment check can turn so to work uh, so, the, uh, so the, the experiments in which moment chuck is used you have to undo the moment arm clamp screw it is placed behind on the behind of the uh, back plate uh, of str13 so you remove that screw and then moment arm will give you the readings and it will be in, in working condition for you in the, in the experiments now experiment one a sport reaction of a simply sported beam so first of all we will discuss about the required equipment the equipment which will be needed to perform this experiment so our first point is the backboard unit set up in a test frame now the backboard unit is the board where all the accessories are of, for, for, for the required for the experiments are attached it's, it's basically a backboard of str13 module all the test frame and load cells and digital indicators will be placed on that backboard frame two rigid and sinking load cell sports with screws two rigid and sinking load cell means rigid means they will they won't move if the load is applied on the on their side of the uh, uh, beam and sinking load means if load is applied to them they will move downward so that they can measure the uh, force or reaction acting on that load cell and, uh, and a digital force meter with leads so that a digital force meter will show the reading uh, load cell is bearing on uh, um, its side of the sport the thick rigid beam and thin flexible beam now you will you have to choose a thick rigid beam and a thin flexible beam uh, from your uh, stock of uh, beams provided uh, by the uh, company manufacturer um, so you, uh, both you can test uh, on both of them one by one a set of weights obviously weights are necessary to measure the re export reaction on a simply exported beam so you have to choose uh, a set of weights as well weight hanger and knife edge hanger uh, weight hanger and knife edge hanger uh, are also uh, should be present there so that weights sh should will be placed on weight hanger and they will measure the they will put on the weight on the beams now the what is the experiment outcome of this experiment 1a now we have to prove that ra plus rb you can see that there, this is an ra reaction a on, on left side of a beam rb reaction b on right side of the, of the beam due to this weight applied on any part of the beam obviously when you are applying a weight on a beam it will produce reactions on the ends of its beam so we will place load cells on this reaction position so that it they will measure the amount of four amount of reactions acting upon them due to this weight applied ra is equal to sport reaction at position a rb sport reaction at position b so l is the total length of a beam which is to be tested or experimented now experimental procedure and sample readings so we will discuss how to set up this experiment to take the readings and we will discuss some sample readings as well first of all take two load cells now uh, i discussed uh, previous in the previous slide that you have to use two load cells on two for measuring the two reactions so place one load cell at a 550 mm position uh, there is a scale placed on the uh, on the frame as well so which will uh, assist you in uh, uh, pointing uh, the exact uh, position on the frame 
तो प्लेस फर्स्ट लोड सेल ऑन 550 फिफ्टी mm पोजीशन एंड सेकंड लोड सेल ऑन 150 फिफ्टी mm पोजीशन ऑन दैट स्केल सो द नेट डिफरेंस और द टोटल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू लोड सेल वुड बी 400 550 माइनस वन फिफ्टी एम एम इज इक्वल टू फोर हंड्रेड सो द टोटल डिस्टेंस बिटवीन टू लोड सेल विल बी फोर हंड्रेड एम एम प्लेज अ रिजेड बीम ऑन नाइफ एज विद एन इक्वल ओवर हैंग एट ईच एंड प्लेस अ बीम लाइक यू कैन सी देयर अ बीम इज प्लेस एंड टू नाइफ एज सो वी विल यूज द नाइफ एज ऑफ द लोड सेल्स टू प्लेस द बीम ऑन दीज टू लोड सेल विद इक्वल ओवर हैंग ऑन अदर साइड ऑफ द लोड सेल Uh, so there won't be any unsymmetrical overhang. There should be equal overhang on either side of the uh, load cells. Connect the left hand spot to the digital force meter input one, and the right hand spot to input. Two. So we will put the output output of the load cell into the digital force meter display input one and input two. So that whenever a weight is applied on this beam, we can see the reaction amount, the reaction calculated reaction on R A and R B on the force display as well as structures of STR 2000 as well. Now, slide the knife edge onto the beam 40 mm from the left spot. So we will slide the knife edge, knife edge to the 40 mm from the left. So we will move it from the left to around 40 mm. Let's say this position is around 40 mm. Apply a mass of 490 grams. So we will use weight hangers uh, and uh, uh, and weights so of total 490 grams and apply on this point 40 mm from the left side. A knife edge has a mass of approximately 10 grams, or total mass would be around 500 grams. Record the re readings. Now we will record the readings uh, for each load. Now, we, if we discuss the sample reading, let's say distance A of 40 mm. Uh, we pre previously discussed the first reading would be taken on 40 mm distance from the left. The load is 4.9 newtons. 500 uh, uh, grams is approximately 4 4.9 uh, newton. And this is an example. Example is experimented result for experiment one. So R A would be around 4 4.4 newton and R B would be around 0.5. R A is uh, uh, greater than R B because weight is. A weight applied is near to the R A reaction, and it's far away from the R B reaction. That's why we are we are seeing the greater reaction at R A position and less reaction at R B. And there some would be equal to the total weight, total weight applied on the beam, and it would be 4.9. So we will move this uh, knife edge gradually to in the increments of 40 mm. Like you can see there, 40, uh, 40 plus 40, 80, then 120, 160, and we will take all the readings, uh, uh, all the readings uh, showing on the force meter. Uh, the load would be the same because we are using the same load. Uh, you can note the reactions. You can see that the reaction of R A is increasing by the every graduation of 40 mm in the uh, scale, and R B reaction is increasing. It's because weight is moving towards R B and going away from R A. R A. So that's why this phenomena is happening. Their sum should be equal to R A plus R B total reaction total weight applied. So it will uh, verify your experiment if your results are uh, coming same and uh, with no uh, big fluctuations. So this this is a this is a theoretical values for experiment one, which you will use by formulas by applying formulas. Uh, you can use moment formulas uh, uh, or any any formulas available for this experiment. Uh, and all the procedure is same. You can you can take the distance of 40 mm increment, 40, 80, 120. 120 load would be the same. Uh, you can know you can calculate the reaction. What would be the reaction of R A and what would be the reaction of R B? That And some uh, some of their reactions, you can relate the every reading to the experimental results uh, came. Uh, no, uh, by this, you can uh, uh, have an idea that what would be the difference in theoretical and experimental value values, and uh, what percentage error is coming, and all the necessary readings. Um, uh,
required for this experiment activity for students at the end of the experiment so there is a small activity for the students at the end of the experiment based on their evaluation of what they have found find out uh, after the experiment plot a graph of ra ra and rb two reactions versus distance along the beam the distance along the beam will obviously affect ra and rb so you can check what is the difference from your own results comment on the shape of the resulting plot Super, uh, supreme was the theoretical results on the same axis and comment on accuracy of the results taken and any source of error does static equilibrium predict the values of the spot reaction so these sort of questions has to be answered by the students after their evaluation uh, of the experiment and what they have learned from this experiment so here is our second experiment experiment uh, second part of first experiment experiment 1b deflection of a simply spotted beam so we will see what are the required equipment to use in this experiment the backboard you know set up in the test frame as uh, you, uh, you have seen in the previous experiment it is the same in this experiment as well two rigid load cell sports with secures now rigid load cell means the load cell will be used only for a sport purpose they won't calculate the reactions applied on the load because they are not sinking they will not move so that they can uh, uh, they can calculate the uh, force acting on uh, either of the load cells so we are using rigid load cells so, th so that they can only be used as a sport uh, next is a thick rigid beam and a thin flexible beam uh, obviously it is same for as, a, as of the previous experiment uh, you you have to choose a thick beam and a thin beam uh, you can choose either of them uh, for, uh, first and uh, next in the second uh, in the second phase a set of weights weight hanger and a knife edge hanger these are the same as of previous experiment uh, now the, what are the experimental outcome in this experiment we will establish the relationship between load and beam deflection and beam length and deflection so there are two parameter, uh, parameters relationship between load and beam deflection and relationship between beam length and deflection so you now there you can see a setup of this experiment two load cells are acting as a sport only as a sport not as a reaction this L is the total length of the uh, beam which is being used in this experiment uh, and the, this, this is the point load W is applied on this beam and you can see that uh, length is divided into two uh, into half on either side of this point load and deflection to find out the theoretical deflection there is a formula WL cube over 28 EI you can use this formula to find the theoretical deflection acting on the beam as well experimental procedure and sample readings so we will discuss experimental procedure first point is set up the equipment as experiment A but disconnect the load cell force and remove the digital force meter only because we don't need any sort of reactions to be measured so that's why we will disconnect the digital force meter we will only deal with the deflection the deflection produced in the beams move the sports so the knife edges are 300 mm apart what does it mean that you have to move these sports first this second is these sports so that the net distance between them is 300 mm you can use the scale placed on the module uh, to accurately place these sports so that you can measure the uh, distance between them so our next point is place the thinner flexible beam on the knife edges with an equal overhang to make a beam with a 300 mm of span so we will use a flexible thinner beam with equal overhang it, it means that the the beam should be equally overhang from these both knife edges they should be symmetry in overhanging so that the, it will not affect the uh, final outcome of the experiment 
slide the digital indicator along a slot to the center of the beam 150 mm from one spot and lock it off at the rear so the center of 300 mm beam is uh, 150 mm where we will apply our point load uh, so the digital indicator will be right on top of the point load which will be 150 mm from either side of the uh, beam slide a knife edge hanger to the center line we will place the knife edge hanger to center line to place the weights uh, on the center line zero the indicator and apply a mass of 100 gram to the knife edge when we place the digital indicator on the center of the beam we will press the uh, zero in a zero uh, now we will record the deflection in the table uh, as you know that we have applied the weight on the uh, point load on the center of the beam so there may there must be any and deflection due to that weight so we, we will know this reflection uh, reading on the deflection indicator continue to increase the mass in 100 gram increments recording the values in table so you can if you can see in this table we are increase, uh, increasing the mass in 100 grams interval you can see uh, zero 100 200 300 and the load will be calculated uh, according to that equation so uh, there, there you can see the load total load and you can see the deflection is increasing by the load by the by the mass amount of mass is increased so you can note this is deflection right on the screen of deflection indicator uh, so you can note this reading so this experiment we fixed beam fixed beam length in this part of the experiment fixed beam length length is fixed and load is variable so if you see the other table it is in it written that variable beam length length is changing so you you can use the both knife edges uh, of this force to increase or decrease the length or to change the length of the beam but the load will remain same so you can use either 100 gram or 200 gram or 300 gram depend on your desired amount but the length will be changed in every reading so you can calculate the deflection according to that and this lq parameter will be used to find the theoretical deflection uh, you can see in this formula that the lq parameter is used so you can find this the theoretical deflection according to this formula here are the graphs of for both of the experiment uh, procedures fixed beam length uh, with variable mass and variable beam length with fixed mass you can see the behavior of the graph and you can assess your results and uh, write down the outcomes of uh, what you have learned from this experiment experiment two reaction and fixing moments of a fixed beam and a probe can deliver now we will use fixed beam so the required equipment for this experiment is the backboard unit set up in a test frame as discussed in the previous experiments a knife edge and an encastre fixing load cell support a digital force meter with leads the thin flexible beam we will use a thin flexible beam instead of thick flexible beam a set of weights weight hanger and a knife edge hanger almost everything is same or uh, from the previous experiment so what would be the experimental outcome of the experiment in this experiment students use the equipment to investigate two beam arrangements so we will use fixed beam arrangement and a probe cantilevered arrangement as you can see as you can see from these arrangements this is a fixed beam arrangement where either sides of the beam are fixed and this is a probe cantilevered arrangement where one side is fixed and other side is supported freely so these are the arrangement of probe cantilever and fixed beam these are the experimental procedure so this is the fixed beam setup and it's a probe cantilever setup uh, so you can uh, you can then uh, read and uh, note what are the steps to make the beam fixed and what are the steps to make probe cantilever put the load cell support onto the rest frame and slide it to a 400 mm position so make the distance of 400 mm position between the load cells fix it securely with two screws on the front only uh, so we uh, we have to fix the load cell so that they act as a rigid support not as a sinking support secure the beam to the moment check on the backboard clamp the beam in the load cells 
evenly and squarely we choose to use connect the moment arm to input one and load cell to input two on the digital four display so moment arm in input will be uh, given to the force uh, unit display uh, input one and uh, uh, load cell in output will be given to the input two of digital force display use the relevant control to zero the readings on the digital force display uh, there is a button of, of zero uh, zero readings so you should press this uh, zero reading button it will uh, automatically zero all the active readings uh, coming on the screen this equipment is now here about the fixed wing the left hand end is set to measure the fixing moment uh, because it's a dollar sport and the right hand end is set to measure the sport reaction it's apply a mass of 500 gram to the beam 40 mm from the left hand and take readings of the moment arm force and sport reaction force record the values in the table and repeat in every 40 mm in, in, in 40 mm increments as discussed in the previous experiments now this is a probe cantilever setup release the moment arm clamp screw and undo the clamp screw on the load cell remove both clamp players from the load cell support to expose the knife edge uh, we have seen that clamp sports are used to make the sports rigid so in the probe cantilever setup we will remove those clamp sports uh, so that it won't remain rigid rest of the beam back on the knife edge and tighten the moment arm clamp screw d0 both the moment arm and the load cell support using the set zero control as discussed in the previous setup you can set zero the readings now this is set as a probe cantilever you can use the same 40 mm of increment and a 500 gram mass on this either side of the beam and to make your uh, sample reading table and uh, calculations a fixed beam sample readings in this sample reading you can see the distance of 40 mm increment from 40 to 360 mm load is fixed of 4.9 newton the moment of force is being observed on the force meter display or the str2000 software this is the moment produce in that moment arm and the reaction rb on the load cell so you can find all these readings on the force meter display and on the software str2000 software screen and you can plot these graphs and uh, uh, compare the different parameters with each other this is a fixing moment and position along beam the graph it's a graph along position along beam and vertical uh, vertical reaction yes, this graph shows the fixing moment versus load position fixed beam a vertical reaction versus load position there are two different variables in the in these two graphs used you can compare them and uh, write down your um, uh, assessment and uh, what you have learned from these graphs and this experiment oh, this is the probe cantilever sample readings distance would be the same it will be incremented in 40 mm for uh, in 40 mm increments so till 360 mm load is same you can also check moment arm force the moment produced in the moment arm and the reaction rb all are the same except the formation from a fixed beam to probe cantilever these are the graphs uh, two, two various graphs first graph is fixing moment versus load position probe cantilever the pro uh, probe reaction versus load position so there are two different variables to compare with each other so that you can um, make a judgment uh, from this uh, experiment now this is the activity for students at the end of this experiment so will have to see and also this activity so that uh, teacher can assess uh, how much uh, the students have learned in this experiment and what are their judgments according according to the experiment for both set of results for fixed beam and prop cantilever students should plot fixing moment and vertical reaction versus position along the beam as you can see you have seen from the graph calculating theoretical values of all moments you, you have formulas available to find out all these parameters theoretically so you and uh, your teacher can also help us uh, help you in finding out the theoretical values of all these sample uh, 
points or sample values they should comment on the accuracy of the result so obviously they have to check uh, the accuracy of their uh, perform results students should note advantages and disadvantages of using a fixed beam of probe cut lever uh, they will find out what would be the best uh, formation uh, to make uh, other fixed beam or a probe cut lever for a simple bridge in terms of bending moment and support reaction that is a fixed beam has a higher support reaction and a lower bending moment in a beam while the opposite is true for the probe cut lever students have to find out whether it is a true or not experiment number 3 reactions of a continuous beam in this experiment students use the equipment to investigate the reactions of a two span continuous beam with three spores as you can see from the picture there are three spores r a r b and r c Uh, uh, this type of beam is governed by the following equations. So there are two weights applied W1 and W2 on this uh, beam. Uh, total distance, uh, uh, total distance of the beam is x plus y. If you have applied W2 and W1, the distance between um, mid of a reaction and weight is x1. Uh, I, same as x2, y1, y2. These are the formula, theoretical formulas to verify your experiment results. This is a formula for M reaction R A reaction R B reaction R C. Now, if you want to prove it theoretically, you can assume take your readings of R A R B R C W one W two X Y. Either of the readings can be taken uh, uh, supposingly <coughs> um, or so on supposition base, and you can verify these formulas as well. Uh, students can also do perform this experiment on their uh, module as well they so they will, they will require a, a teacher to assist them in helping out to uh, find out the uh, out experimental outcomes of this experiment so it was all about the str13 module continuous and indeterminate beam apparatus i hope students will have a better understanding uh, at the end of this experiment and um, this apparatus briefing thanks